part two of the Shure S50 build. Uh, this next video is uh, we're going to be machining the sole plate or the bed plate as some people call it. Uh, you'll see the setup in there, the clamp and everything. Uh, if you have any questions, anything at all in the videos, just put a comment in the bottom and we'll answer them to the best of our ability. Also, if you have any tips, you know, uh, please pass them on and we can spread the word and help other people out. Uh, in this you'll see the machining of it, uh, there's one critical measurement um, which is basically between the uh, machining of where the cylinder goes and where the slide rails are, which is 2164. So you'll see this in, in the next bit uh, where we just cover out how to get that accurately. So yeah, so we'll get on with that now uh, and we'll, we'll get that finished off and uh, we'll, we'll speak to you at the end. First thing we're going to do, we're just going to mark up according to drawings here. Uh, the different points that the machining. These aren't critical that we're going to mark because we're going to do it, I'll show you later on the milling machine, use a milling machine DRO to, to actually give us these heights. The important measurement is this one, uh, 2164, which when you convert it to um, the decimal version of, of that is 0.3281. It's the difference between that machine first and that machine first. That is very critical, uh, it's to do with the slide uh, on, on the slide rails there, so we'll, we'll do them, I said on the milling machine. Um, <clears throat> the other one as well is marking up the centre where the, the main shaft's going to go through with the pulley on. So we'll just mark them up first. So the first one from your, your face here, inch and a half, which I've already set on there. So it's basically a case of holding them both down and just marking your inch and a half marks on there. These will just be a guide, like I said, when we come to machine, um, the DRO will sort this out for us. So what we do now is add on 3, 2, 8, 1 onto that. So just unlock it, side it up. Oh, 3, 2, 8. Oop. There we go, we can't get the 1 on here. So that's going to go as close up again. This is just a, a rough guide. So now what I was saying before on the first video about painting, uh, not only to keep the oil out, that's on your hands, but it also works as nice marking out paint. Uh, could we just now score into that? That gives us a marking out. So <coughs> we can do both sides, but like I said, it is just as a as a guide these. We'll, we'll do it all in the miller. Uh, but as you can see there, it nicely marks. Uh, you can see that hopefully. You know, it works as like a marking paint as well. Uh, and then your next one's to your centre. So it's one of 15 sixteenths to the centre bush, but we're, obviously we're not going to be machining that at the moment. Uh, but we'll mark that up as well in due course. What we'll do now is we'll flip this over onto the milling machine and show you how we set it up and clamped it. So we've transferred over to the milling machine now. And I've actually done, clamped a couple of pieces of scrap better, just with this old bit of decks and shelving. As a register for it to sit against and then a clamp at this end so if i ever take this out i can leave those set in there so that's my sort of reference point i can put it back in and be exactly the same place every time and i've basically lined it up and just put a, a dial gauge on there and lined up with this front edge so we know we're sort of parallel with the casting also i did i dropped the tool down to touch the table and zero the dro in the milling machine I'll just sort of try and show you that DRO just on the side, just zero that. And then <coughs> we can now use that as a zero point. We can come up now the inch and a half to machine the first part of the casting where the cylinder is going to go. And then we can then come up that extra 2164, yeah, 2164 and machine the slide rails. So we'll, we'll get on with that process now. Um, do it about two, 250 rows a minute. And do about 10 thou cuts. I had a quick look, we need about 30 thou off, so I'll do a couple of cuts and just see where, where we're up to. So we'll start that now.
come up with it when we shoot it all at the same time let's wind this across. Obviously avoiding the clamps. So finishing cool. So now it gets us to an inch and a half on the table, so we know that that's correct. So now we need to add on this 2164 onto here. So I'm it across now, I've done a quick check on here. I'm getting about 1.9 um, of an inch on, on the digital readout, so obviously it has to come down to the um, 1.8. Two eight we need to add down to. So again, we'll do about ten thousand cuts and just take it slowly. Thank you. 
transmission cuts at 1.828. That's obviously your inch and a half plus your 328. Faces machined off, and the scribe lines we've put on bang on the scribe lines. The finish isn't, isn't bad at all. Might just clean that up a little bit with some wet and dry on the surface plate later on. Uh, well, that's your two main surfaces with that's your crit critical measurement there. The 2164 that is your critical measurement. Make sure you get that one bang on. Doesn't matter what it is off the deck as long as them two are that far apart. There we go, not quite a job done, uh, a little bit shorter than I wanted to do. Um, like I said, we're doing this as a little project, just a chill out thing of an evening. People like to read books, play Scrabble, or even watch YouTube. Um, so it's a little bit shorter, but what we'll do, we'll probably do that as a part B, just finishing off the sole place. Once we try and get the whole machine of that done, we've got the basic two, you know, two bits of machining done on that. Uh, like I said, you'll, you saw the clamping, uh, we clamped it in, made it secure, and also the registers we put in. Um, you know, a couple of stops at the front and the side stops. So when we put it in, we can actually tick it out, put it back in, we know we're bang on. So we can leave that set up on the milling machine. So, yeah, so thanks for watching. Like I said, any questions or anything, um, please put them down below. Please like and subscribe to the channel. And until next time, YouTubers, it'll be right.